Oh, uh, alright. Got a PKer. What is this? Dragon Skimitar PKer. Oh, nice. Okay, that's enough for this Armadillo task. Okay, so I just hit uh, 700 KC. And I got about 120 more on tasks left to do, which is about 30 more uh, boss kills. So, will this be enough? We'll find out soon enough. All right, we're getting some good RNG right there with those hits. Pretty, pretty damn good. Oh my God! I got an armadillo chest plate instead of a hilt. Oh my goodness! What? I mean, it's still a drop, so that you know that's cool. Yeah, I saw armadillo and I was like, for you know, I gasped for a second. Yes, hill, 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 and yeah, no, it's just another uh, armadillo chest plate. It's a really good drop. I'm not gonna lie. That's the easy kill. Okay, here we go. A hundred silver aura. My god, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Add armadillo. I have seen it all. What the heck? Well, I just finished up another armadillo task. Fifth one of this week. And yeah, no health yet, guys. But we did get that ACP number three, which is pretty cool, I suppose. So. I'm not dry armadillo anymore. Gonna get another one of these tasks at some point, maybe. Hopefully not too soon, you know, I would like to take a break from this uh, bird. Well, at least I also got uh, another hard clue from the armadillo task, which allows me to get another master clue, so... I'll be looking forward to doing that. Here we go, first Abhorrent Spectre Superior. And I got a lot of uh, herbs from that, okay. Nice. Oh my god, no, Scott. <laughs> Damn, bro. Aw. Yeah, dude, honestly, yo, if you didn't die, you would have had a good chance, you know, getting the drop, man. It's our arcane prayer scroll. Alright, 30 mil. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take that. Alright, so I might get a farming level from this patch. And yes, indeed, it will be. Of the 98 farming just in time and that's pretty clutch crazy crazy man so all those seeds from all those bosses like Zora uh, demonic gorillas especially those two and coupled with a lot of uh, slayer monsters and the seeds as well and yeah just been farming every now and then and somehow you just get such high farming dude it's crazy so I guess that's gonna be my next 99, um, almost certain. So 1.2 mil to 99 farming, that's, yeah. So currently, I do not have enough tree seeds and fruit tree seeds right now to get the 99 farming, but I should have enough to get pretty close. So if I just go back and, you know, do a bit of Zora, uh, why I am going for skills anyways, I will be getting quite a bit of tree seeds from that and that should eventually get me to 99 farming so I am definitely looking forward to that I've never had 99 farming on old school before so I really think it's a pretty prestigious cave honestly you know one of the more uh, expensive slash uh, rare 99s on old school that's for sure so man this is great two superiors this Ab Inspector task and I get uh, unfortunately not the best, but cool. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, dude, shield left half, guys. That's pretty um, cool. So I got the dragon square shield, which I did trim with a kit. And also I have three shield left halves. So overall, I have four halves uh, so far on this account. Damn, dude crazy so guys let me clarify and what my total level is this is my actual total level it's 21 12 not 21 40 or whatever it was before basically conduit client decided that on the total levels it would also include the virtual levels if I had that option on so I just said okay I'm gonna turn it off altogether because I don't want that total level to include virtual levels so this is my real level guys and yeah, we're not that close to maxing or anything, so... So, I know a lot of you guys are probably uh, wondering if I'm ever gonna max this account. 
and I really don't have a straightforward answer so I want to elaborate and I'll explain more at the end of the video about potential maxing. Master clue from last night, here we go, let's check it out. Oh, damn, okay. Hey, now I can complete another Armadale book. So I will uh, take that away from my bank and just complete it. Alright, hard clue from Dark Beast, here we go. Oh my god, yes, yes. Yo, that is one of the items that I really needed for my master clue. Oh my goodness, yes. That is an emote clue done. Right there, dude. The Sammy Fohelm, Sammy Godsword, and Sammy Playbody uh, emote clue. That's fucking awesome, man. That's so lit. Alright, let me uh, see if I have the other stuff. I think I do already. Here we go. Yes, Sammy Playbody. Awesome. Oh my god. Oh, also have full, uh, Zami rune set awesome too damn dude beautiful that's why i do my heart glues a lot nowadays i now only need to get a a black dragon mask from heart clue oh my goodness yes that is the task i've been looking for man i haven't done smoke devils in ages but now that they got superiors and all that you know it helps for my imbued heart uh, grind goal i'm gonna be able to ice barrage these guys so that's gonna be freaking awesome I cannot wait to uh, go and test it out like right now so this is my smoke devil barrage gear it's a uh, pretty damn good 155 accuracy decided I like the Arctic cloak you know minus 4 accuracy versus god cave but yo I get that plus 6 prayer bonus which is very nice and I know these guys are very tanky so I wanna make sure I have pretty damn good accuracy against these guys also gonna use magic potions but yeah man one of my uh, biggest curiosities is gonna be just how crazy of XP they are you know I've heard like 80 K's and stuff which is unheard of to me because I've never done it like that with such crazy XP rates before when I did Slayer so let's go and check it out okay I finished the small devil task wow that was so quick and look at this XP per hour 84,000 what in the world? That's freaking crazy, guys. Over 200k magic XP, which is, yeah, expected, of course, but damn, bro. That's just insane. Yeah, I am very excited for a future small devil task, though. Tech to Oh! Oh! Yes! Baby, elite clue scroll. Wait, I have a hard clue in my bank. Yo, that's sick. I, I can go and do a master clue right after this task. Damn, Mythlord Dragon's coming in clutch. Oh my god, yes! 241 Night Royals. Oh my lord. That is crazy. I am having a blast today at Slayer. This is what I wanted to do the past 5 days. And now I'm finally able to do it. It's been a bit since the uh, last unique item from Master Clue, so uh... Yeah baby, let's check it out. Boots of Darkness! Oh, that looked like Anku Boots. Like the first millisecond, but... Okay. What the heck's a Boots of Darkness anyways? Does that give any, like, equipment stats? Oh, it does. Three magic, um, accuracy. And magic defense as well. Okay. It's remotely useful. So, I'm actually just gonna drop these monk rolls because <laughs> I realize these god roll legs that you get from clue scrolls, they're the same exact prayer bonus. And not only that, they also give magic bonus. So, yeah, if you have one of these, definitely get around to using them they're gonna be quite useful all right first necrowl of the day and uh yeah just another totem yes awesome man right from that necrowl task i got an abyssal demon task which i can also barrage that's gonna be fun time man I haven't barraged these guys yet with this iron man gear so <laughs> it should be very interesting oh my god <laughs> Oh, damn, dude. Yo. Congrats on the dexterous. Alright, I'm gonna take my 33 mil split for that dex, bro. Thank you very much. What? You scared me, bro. Give me back my money, bro. Jackass. Thanks, man. Alright, come on, baby. Better not decline. Thank you. I have been barraging for a bit now at the episode demons in the catacombs, and they're alright. I'm um, getting somewhere around like 
uh, 40 Ks, like low 40 to mid 40 K. So XP an hour and the magic is decent at about 100 K. So it's not like crazy good like that of Necrals or Smoke Devils or like Dust Devils, but for certain it is definitely faster than, you know, killing Absolute Demons with just melee. Oh my god. Damn, I got Elite Clue Scroll and a Hard Clue Scroll, dude. Oh man, that is basically another Master Clue right there. Although it was a little too late to try to do three uh, Masters in one day, but wow. That's awesome. I'm, I'll basically be ready. Well, that's good. Slayer is definitely uh, giving me some nice and handy uh, Elite Clue Scrolls. I am almost done with this Absolute Demon task, and of course I switched to Bursting, and... Actually, there's really no difference between Bursting and Barraging and Absolute Demons, and it makes sense because you only have 5 spawns to mess around with, so either way you're still gonna end up basically waiting for mobs to spawn most of the time. So yeah, 130k magic an hour and about 42k Sir XP an hour. So the question of whether or not I'll be maxing on this character is probably one of the uh, most commonly asked questions. So I will answer to the best of my ability. So my best overall answer for you is I'm not sure. Now let's elaborate. So if you were asking something along the lines of will I be maxing soon? Definitely not. Or if you're asking somewhere along the lines of will I be maxing in the future? Potentially. And the reason is simple. I currently, you know, have my PVM goals mainly, and let me tell you, I'm pretty damn sure I will be spending a lot of my time, you know, uh, most of my playing time working on those PVM goals. That's like my main uh, content, and it's like the main thing that I enjoy. I don't mind skilling every now and then, especially if it helps me, you know, reach uh, certain PVM goals and stuff. But currently, I have most of my skilling things like out of the way. So if I were to theoretically go for max right now, I would basically have to cut a lot of my uh, PVM time, which I really don't want to. I still have to finish that God Wars set. I still want to get those raids items. And of course, I still want to you know, put in the time to do a bit of Slayer and like Corporal Beast and stuff whenever I can. So realistically, if I were to max, it's going to have to be in the super distant future. And it's going to be very uncertain because I know this game gets constantly updated. I'm pretty sure half a year down the line, there's probably going to be some other PVM thing that I probably want to go and try to get with a new update or something. So I'm most likely going to be pretty busy with my PVM goal, like no matter uh, when I play this character, you know, in the future, probably too. But let's just say the uh, PVM updates and stuff slows down and I start, you know, finishing up what is available now in terms of PVM, then if I do have time, I would, of course, consider, you know, putting in that free time I would have and go for that maxing. But we don't know what the future has for us, so obviously, if there is potential, I will definitely let you guys know about, you know, maxing in the future for sure. So I think I've answered that question to the best of my ability. So I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here guys, try my best uh, to get some more items today and unfortunately what I did get was more placeholders from raids, more placeholder from Arma, so hopefully in the next episode I can finally get some unique stuff, that would be amazing. If you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with episodes from the series, feel free to subscribe to the channel. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as usual, and I will catch you guys in a few days. Take care.